mystery of stuff. Started out ordinarily enough. Nita Coburn of Middletown, Ohio, was spending the day with Chance and Skyler, her grandson and granddaughter. The next day, however, would turn into an unforgettable odyssey. While Nita wasn't expecting anything out of the ordinary to happen that day, she was promptly pressed into action. The children's aunt had a medical emergency and needed to be taken to the hospital. As a good family member, Nita was happy to help. There was one issue, though. She didn't feel comfortable leaving Chance and Skylar home alone. They would have to come along for the drive. Everyone piled into the car and, before long, they had made a quick drive to Atrium Medical Center. Nita pulled up near the main entrance and escorted the other woman inside. While that should have been the end of any potential problems, Nita made one key mistake. While she had helped the other woman, she had left her grandchildren in grave danger. In her rush to get to the emergency room door, Nita left the keys in the car's ignition. Within a matter of seconds, her mistake came back to haunt her and her grandchildren. Seconds after Nita left the car, a strange man eyed the vehicle. Once he noticed the keys were in the ignition, he made his mind up. It was time for action. Without wasting a moment, the man jumped into the driver's seat and sped away. Not only was he stealing the car, but Chance and Skyler were still sitting in the back. Nita emerged from the emergency room just in time to see the car driving away. Once she realized what was happening, her grandmotherly instincts kicked in. She couldn't abandon the kids. Nina broke into a sprint and, before too long, had caught up with the stolen vehicle. She managed to grab the driver's side door handle and pried it open. The driver, unfortunately, was wise to Nita's efforts and managed to pull the door shut. He then locked it to prevent any further interference. Without a second, though, he stepped on the gas. Nita, however, wasn't going to give up without a fight. Even as the car sped up, she refused to let go. Before she realized what was happening, she was being dragged down the street. Eventually, though, the car picked up too much speed and Nita was forced to let go of the door. With the vehicle speeding out of sight, it seemed like all hope was lost. Soon after, the Middleton Division of Police stopped the car and apprehended the suspect. When they looked in the back seat, though, the two children were nowhere to be found. Against all odds, both children escaped the car and made their way to safety. But what exactly happened in the back seat of the vehicle as it sped away from the emergency room? Shortly after the car pulled away, Chance in the back seat hatched a plan to escape. He managed to open the back door. He and his sister could leap to safety. There was a problem, though. The carjacker noticed their escape attempt and reached into the back seat. He grabbed onto Skylar's hoodie. She was trapped. Her brother, however, wasn't going to leave her behind. In a moment of quick thinking, Chance grabbed onto his sister and pulled with all his might. Before the two realized what was happening, they started to tumble backwards, falling out of their seats. The two children fell out of the moving car and tumbled to safety. While it was a scary experience for everyone involved, they had survived thanks to the eight-year-old boy's quick thinking. This little guy is a hero, Middletown Police Chief Rodney Muterspau said. No question, he pulled his sister out of the car with no concern for his own safety. Chance was even recognized by the Ohio Senate for his quick thinking and bravery. His actions served as an inspiration that anyone, regardless of their age, can be a hero.